All right, so right behind me is our camper. We are at Fountain of Youth RV Park in Thermopolis. And if you've watched our videos at all on this channel, you know that we do like to review RV parks we're at. Um, only because when I've gotten on YouTube and I've tried to look them up, a lot of times it's just music playing and you don't really get a feel for what the sights are like, how it is to pull in, where you set yourself up. Um, I like to kind of give a quick tour, show some videos, some pictures, some aerial, actually give you some more information. One of the things I love about some RV parks is when you pull in, they give you ample space to go get checked in. So you're not packing your tampers in on the line. So you got quite a bit of space here when you pull in. You just go right up to the main office here. This is the highway that brings you up to the Fountain View RV Park. And I'll show you some aerial of that as well. But when you pull in, you pull in right here off the highway. And basically, there's a sign. You can either turn left and go that way, which is not the way you want to go. It's not the way traffic goes in this RV park. What you're going to do is you're going to turn right, and you're going to head right over here to the check-in office or main office. You can see there's quite a bit of room here, so that makes life a lot easier. So when you pull in and you get checked in, you stop at the stop sign. You're going to take a left. You can see the road that heads around there. And then there's basically like three rows of RV sites. And they are kind of tight, so you want to keep that in mind. I mean, you can look at the, you know, just judging some of the campers here. You got some pretty big fit wheels. You can squeeze in there, but it is something you want to definitely pay attention to when you come in. Sometimes in some RV parks, you can't park your car right behind the camper. But um, on a lot of these spots here, we have room to do that. In fact, on ours, our truck fits right in front of the camper with even a few more feet this morning. So that's a pretty sweet feature here. Right here is the mineral pool, which is, uh, if you don't know anything about Thermopolis, Thermopolis is known for their thermal pools. So that is naturally heated water in there. It's pretty awesome. And I did want to show you, they do have laundry here as well. And then they also have some showers right over there. So right over here, here's a shot of this pool. And I'll walk in there and take a look at that. But what I wanted to show you is they do actually have showers here. But they charge you for the showers. So you're going to need quarters. Keep that in mind. Um, but of course, they've got the showers, they've got uh, bathrooms off of this. And then as you walk right back in here, you have the thermal pools. Um, you have the first pool here that's a, I mean, it's, I'm just throwing out a guess here, but I'm guessing probably 85 degrees, somewhere around there. And in the pool behind it, you'll see the second pool back there. That's even a warmer one. Bring your own floaties. Um, there is no lifeguard, so keep that in mind. This is a pretty sweet feature to have right on a camera out here. Like I said, right down here, this is kind of where you see some like uh, tent sites. Of course, they still have their hookups for RVs. Um, we did notice some people like on motorcycles that were traveling and needed to set up a tent for the night and they were able to do that here pretty, pretty peacefully. All right, so taking this road down, here's the end of the campground. left 
this is where our campsite is. there now you can look it is kind of tight between the sights there that's something to keep in mind but it's not horrible you, you'll know sitting at RV parks everyone's really cool the hookups weren't bad I will tell you if you don't have that tool to shut or basically either screw on or unscrew the sewer hole cap there's a special little tool and if you don't know what it is, I'm going to put a picture up and I'm also going to put a link in our video so you can order one. I've never had to use one before, but I actually did on this trip. That thing was on there tight. It gets stuck. Now what do you come up with? So I had to unscrew with the tool and then hook up the, uh, the hoses and everything. So it wasn't bad. Everything worked well. Um, they did have some power issues going on, but it has been pretty pretty hot outside. But other than that, it's it's been great. It's been quiet. But not a bad place. Now uh, back there is the dumpster. We're kind of close to the dumpster, but if you're way down here, you're gonna be a ways away. So just keep that in mind because there's not there's not dumpsters on you know, every end of every row here. And then of course right outside over there is where we came in. So sweet uh, RV park. I mean it's great just for Thermopolis, Wyoming. I mean you got a small little town here, but uh, a great little place to camp. And like you're in Thermopolis. Check this place out because just the swimming the pool alone is pretty awesome. Hey guys, this is the end of the video. Make sure that you like and subscribe for more great content that is ready to come. Peace.